In Jesus' name we pray. Our mighty Father, we glorify your name. We thank you, Lord, because you are Lord of Lord, the King of Kings, the mighty one in battle. We thank you, Lord, because of what you are doing in our life. We thank you, Lord, because of the new page you open in the chapter of the church. Yes, we believe there are a lot of accessory that is needed for this church to grow. But that's why that we are, it looks like we are a lone ranger in the journey. We never surrender, we never give up. And then we thank you, Lord, because it tattoo, you have helped these children. As we are preparing them for the task ahead, the choir of the church. I pray by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, you will uphold them to the end in Jesus' name. And your name is going to be glorified. We thank you, Lord, for what she has done today. We thank you, Lord, because of the observation we have, have seen. We thank you, Lord, because of determination to continue to move forward. Almighty Father, I pray by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ for heaven, you will send your help in Jesus' name. And by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, your name is going to be glorified. As we want to go into the side of the scripture, you will teach us. You will help us to manage our time, and your name is going to be glorified. Thank you, O Lord, because you are the Lord that answers prayer. In Jesus' name, we pray. Let us be seated. Uh, a lot of things are happening in the new year. And then every one of us must have seen it. Uh, in this new year, by the grace of the Lord, we have started to study the scripture again. Uh, that's why the COVID, because of the COVID, we stop it and the lack of workers. But it has been resumed. And by the power and the blood of Lord Jesus Christ, we will continue like that. Uh, the Sunday before the last, we see how the determination of Almighty God to let the Israelites know they, they are not going to stay in Sinai. They know to move forward to the Canaanite. And then we learn it from our own side too that as a Christian, we don't need to stay at one place. We need to be moved forward. After we have accepted Jesus Christ, we need to move forward in salvation. We, move, we need to move forward in the, to the, uh, I mean, sanctification. We need to move forward to the Holy Ghost baptism for our Christian journey to be superb, to be meaningful. Last Sunday, we learned at that point, when we are going in that Christian journey, there's a automatically people that will be joining us in the Christian journey. And I make a sample of our environment that we need to be very, very careful of the people who are our friend, whom we are moving with. Are they people who are drunk hard? Are they people who are uh, doing one thing or the other? They are eating one kind of food that God does not like. Do we need still to be moving with them or we need to separate ourselves from them. So we need to know all that one. Apart from that, today, by the grace of the Lord, we are going to go into the another uh, another uh, lesson, which is lesson 848. Let us say it together. Lesson 848. Let's say it once again. Lesson 848. In this lesson 848, we are going to learn about the sedition of Miriam and Aaron. Can we say it together? Sedition of Miriam and Aaron. Let's say it once again. Sedition of Miriam and Aaron. And then our, pro, our, our memory first will be in the book of Proverbs, chapter 18, Verse 21. The book of Proverbs, chapter 18, verse 21. Let us look at the book of Proverbs, chapter 18, verse 21. 
Are we there? Let us open our Bible, the book of Proverbs, chapter 18, verse 21. Are we there? Where is your Bible? Your Bible? The book of Proverbs. Can we get a Bible? Okay. Open the book of Proverbs. Sister Lisa, I want you to try to, to open your the book of Proverbs. Proverbs. Chapter, yeah, P R O Proverbs. The book of Proverbs. So we will read together. Death and life are in the power of their tongue, and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. Proverbs 18 21. Can we read it? Death, let us one, two. Death and life, let us say it together. Death and life, let us say it together. One, two. Death and life. Brad Medric, what are you looking at? Uh, uh, so, la, Sabi, what are you? Oh, yeah. Uh, okay. Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. Okay. One, two. Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. Proverbs chapter 18, verse 21. Let us say it together. Oh yeah, one, two. I want us to say, are we sleeping? Can't we see it? Sorry, please, I need to make sure everything is in order. I pray that God will continue to help us in Jesus' name. So I will, I want us to know that our study show nature of sin of man. Our study shows nature of sin of man. Moses, Moses did not marry from the Israel. He married from, uh, uh, I mean, from Ethiopia. And uh, as a result of this, the, uh, the name of the wife is Sipora. Let us say it together. The name of the wife is Sipora. Can we say it together? The name of the wife is Sipora. Let's say it once again. The name of the wife is Sipora. And uh, the the Aaron and Miriam, they started talking about Moses, that Moses didn't marry from Israel. 
as a result of that, they are backbiting about Moses. Uh, do you know when you are backbiting about somebody? Like Brother Demetric now is backbiting about Moya. That Moya is not a good man. That Moya is bad. And then you can't say it before Moya. That's what we call backbiting. So the same thing, uh, um, uh, uh, Aaron and and Miriam, they were doing about Moses. And then do not forget that Moses is, uh, is a servant of God. You cannot be talking anyhow against a servant of Almighty God. You need to control your mouth, not only against the servant of God, against anybody. Uh, to me, personally, Whatever you cannot say before somebody, do not say it behind him. Do you get what I'm saying? Whatever if I cannot say, oh, Sister Lisa is not a good woman. Oh, I know I know her. He, 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 he does like this. I mean, she does like this. She, she does in this way. If I know that I cannot say it before Sister Lisa, it's better for me to control my tongue to control my mind and not say anything about her. Uh. So that is what happened to the Miriam and the Aaron. They were started speaking against Moses about his, they believe that he is monopolizing his power. Like as I am here now, we don't have any other workers. You see how I've been instructing the children on a lot of things that this is how this thing should be done. This is how this thing should be done. This has been disturbing our service. If you take notes, very well. But if somebody just came and said, oh, Pastor Matthew believe is the only one that can do all the things. I will be happy. Let's say I see somebody that going, that's going to be uh, helping me. But if there's nobody, I have to take control of everything. So if somebody now go outside and say, oh, that's the why the church is like this. That is why the church is like that. That is why the church is, is doing this. And but the person is not ready to take to be under the control. The person is not ready to obey the word of the leader. The person is not ready to say, okay, this is how that thing to be done. Instead of come together to leave the church of the Lord or I me. Or uh, to um to leave the church of the Lord up, he started backbiting. Maybe it is even me that as we are going to Bradimentary House to go and do the house fellowship, and I started complaining. When we get to the house, he has not done this. He has not done this. This one is not done. We don't do this. We don't do this in the house. Meanwhile, you that you have your house, you do not open your own house to be used. So why are you blaming him that he and this and this and this, he has done this? So this was Sipora and I mean, I'm, I'm very sorry. This is what Miriam and Aaron was doing. And God was not happy about it. As a result of that, God can't it against sin against them. So in our Christian journey, we must able to be care, we must able to careful, use our tongue very well. Do not misuse, misuse it. Our tongue is very, very powerful. Do not use it to condemn people. Use it to praise them. And by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, God is going to help everyone of us in Jesus' name. So when we see people like that, you see something you observe about rudimentary, or you see something you observe about Sister Lisa, or you see something you, uh, uh, you observe about me that oh pastor matthew is not doing this thing right or pastor Dim uh, B brad dimensi is not doing this this thing right or uh sister lisa is not doing this thing right what do you need to do what you need to do is to be praying for them oh god when you get home this is what pastor matthew does not do right today when you get home you need them beside your bed you need that beside your chair, and you say, God, 
I want you to help Pastor Matthew to able to able to control the church well. God give him wisdom, knowledge, and understanding to able to direct the church well. Almighty Father, lead him. Then you see, blah, 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 sister, uh, listen, oh, this is what he's doing. You will go when you get home. You don't talk about him. You don't talk about her. You go to your room and you pray, oh, this is what I observe about Sister Lisa today. God, I want you to help Sister Lisa to able to do this, to able to do this perfectly. But if you started condemning him, if you can start condemning her, it doesn't bring any result. And you are not the one that even created him or her. Why are you condemning him? Yes, it's good to put people on the right way. But the way you are putting them in the right way, do you want to prove that you know better? And then if you know better, it doesn't cost God to put you in that position. For God to do not put you in that position, you don't need to force yourself to be in that position. God saw Aaron, God knows about Miriam, and he knows that the position Moses is, they would have done it better if they are there. But he decided that, okay, I will not use these people. I'm going to use Moses. He asked the reason for him to choose Moses. It is for them to not listen to Moses because that is where God wants them to be. Immediately there is a competition. Immediately there is a one way or the other that this person is not good in this area. That person is not good in this area. We are, bring, we are bringing in what I know as a Kana. You know what they know? What we talk about Kana? This is time to listen. Uh, 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 you know what they call Kana? Kana is when you are using your flesh. That, okay, I will do this. I will do this. And God has not put you there. No matter what the case may be, that particular person will continue to be fair. But if you, if we, it's like, you know, when they are playing football, the soccer, we call it soccer in Nigeria, and then you are, you are in the midfield, you are supporting the attacker, but you decided that because you want to score the ball, you decided not, not to be sending that ball to the, atta to the attacker, but you want to be taking the ball from midfield to go and score. The team will not win. Because you are not naturally an attacker. But if you are where you are, God has set you to be a midfielder. Your own is to supply the ball to the attacker. If you are doing it well, the team will win and everybody will be talking about you. That if not because of this particular person, that if the person in the front, they wouldn't have won the, the game. So, wherever God has set you, ready to play that role very well. And God is going to help every one of us in Jesus' name. One thing I want you to know, God will continue to support his, the, any, any person he has put in the position. Remember all the time we are using Sister Lisa as a astrology. I can see a lot of blessing in that house. I can see how the house change. <laughs> God bless you. Because God gives you the wisdom. God bless you. So that is it. God bless you. So that's it. God, God will help every one of us. So, whatever, in any area we find ourselves, let us make sure we do it very well. Like he was saying, yes, he did it for ourselves so that the house can be neat. 
as a result of that, that house accepts us to be doing the house fellowship. So that's where God has put her. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's where God has put us. So God will continue to help every one of us in Jesus' name. So in any time we find people like that, that like we see that he, she has a house we can use for house fellowship, what do we need to do? Now, now we are not even do the house fellowship now. I think we, we, we use your house too for the house fellowship before. Yeah. 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 God will help every one of us. So let us continue so that we can we can uh, we can finish and go into the uh so now what I'm trying to say is that God does not like flesh ambition. You get what I'm saying? God does not like flesh ambition. You need to surrender yourself. To the will of God, what God wants you to do. You don't have, God bless you. God bless you. Okay. God bless you. For the beginning, oh. You come from Christian background? So God will continue to... That's what we are saying. Be at the right place at the right time. God bless. That's what we are saying. Be, let us say it together. Be at the right place at the right time. That's what we are saying. So now let us call upon the name of the Lord. Let us pray. Let us close our eyes.
And I call upon the name of the Lord that God, I will be at the right place at the right time. That God will help you. Where God wants Moses to be is to be the leader. And then he was made leader. Aaron and Miriam, they have no right to be speaking against the anointed man of God. So for them to be thinking of a flesh ambition that they want to be like Moses, it, 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 it is a sin. So you now call upon the name of the Lord, the Almighty Father, always help me to be at the right place at the right time. Let us just finish the prayer. Then we can go for it. In Jesus' name, we pray. In Jesus' name, we pray. Our mighty Father, we glorify your name. We thank you, Lord, because of today, sad the scripture. We thank you, Lord, because of what you enlighten us about, that we should always be at the right place at the right time. God, we pray by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, you will help us and your grace will be sufficient for us to finish the race well in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We shall open our aim to aim 19. Aim 19. 